So I'm here with Jess. Tell us, what's your role in the uh, Call of Duty World League? So I'm the interviewer, or I guess you could call me the reporter for CWL. So you have the same job as me, but except just with a league. Exactly. So I'm used to being on the other side of the microphone. How does it feel to be on this side? It feels good, actually. I love it. And because uh, one of the things for me is since since I'm used to doing interviews, I know kind of not to give yes or no answers. So if you ask me, how does it feel to be in the UK or something like that? I'm going to, you know, I know not to just go, fine. It feels good. So you're not based in the UK. You don't live here? No. Yeah, I live in Columbus, Ohio in the United States. So for all our UK fans, tell us, you enjoy England? Yes, I'm loving it. This is actually my first time in the UK. I've been to other parts of Europe, but my first time here in the UK. And like, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, so I've always wanted to come here to England. So I'm absolutely loving it. So you're going to head to London soon. Harry Potter fan, you have to go and see King's Cross, right? Yeah, I hope so. I really want to see like Platform 9 and 3 quarters and you know, all that stuff. Fantastic. So tell me, you're a presenter, but do you actually enjoy Call of Duty games, esports? What's your view on this whole massive kind of growing industry? So yeah, I love video games and I grew up playing video games and then I uh, more specifically kind of got into esports as I sort of honed my career and specifically what I wanted to do. So regarding Call of Duty, I always played very casually and then when World War II came out and I heard MLG was looking for uh, you know, an interviewer or a reporter, I started playing World War II more. I'd only played some of the previous titles and like I said, I was very, very casual with it. it wasn't FPSs aren't really my game of choice because I'm so, so bad at them, but you know, I I have to say the crowds here at the events and the fans are so so energetic and that's definitely true of any esport but I feel like Call of Duty in particular the fans cheer the loudest and they're the most excited about their favorite players. Yeah, so why should people care about esports? What's so different and so exciting about it? Well, for me, I was never a traditional sports fan, but when esports came along, or when I first kind of discovered the world of esports, that was exciting to me because it was like, okay, well, I already like video games, and then it's people playing this at a competitive professional level, and suddenly I understood why people are fans of sports, because, you know, it's, it's the camaraderie and the competition, and you know, you have something that you really, really love and you see people playing it at such a high level and you get swept up in the excitement and it's just so like energizing to be here. So prior to presenting for uh, Call of Duty World League, what did you do before? So before I was working with the Call of Duty World League, I was still working in esports. Um, I am freelance, um, but I was just kind of doing mostly one-off gigs like I did hosting for the Pokemon World Cham Championships a couple years ago, uh, for the Tetris World Championships. Um, I've worked with Twitch a couple times doing their like Twitch Arena stuff at a couple PAX events and at TwitchCon. Um, and then before that though, before I even got into esports, I actually just I worked in IT risk management for JP Morgan Chase for one year, um, which is this huge bank in, in the United States. Yeah, that's money. It's, it's, yeah. it's work and it's money, so I can't complain. Uh, so you get to see a lot of the players you know, when they're going around. What do you actually think of the players? Are they as extreme and hardcore? Are they nice guys? What can you tell us? They're so nice. And I, I've worked in a couple of different esports scenes. I did some hosting and interviewing for the Dota scene as well, and just a couple other, you know, uh, games. Because like I said, I did a lot of like one-off events. And Call of Duty in particular strikes me as the players are very, very nice. Every single player that I've talked to, you know, because they have their, you, know, you interview them on stage, and of course they're going to give you the, oh, I think we played really well, but so did our opponents. And it's, uh, you know, a lot of them have media training, so it's a very, like, PR-friendly answer. But even just behind the scenes, they're always, they're so, so nice. Every single player I've spoken to is incredibly friendly. And, you know, now that they're kind of getting to know me more, they're always, oh, good morning, Jess, how was your day? And stuff like that, which is a really, really good feeling to know that these, these competitors that people look up to a lot are actually genuinely nice. Fantastic. Uh, so tell me your future in this industry then. Do you want to do esports for more? Do you want to stick with Call of Duty? If another opportunity comes, you're going to jump on that. Tell us, Jess, what's the plan? The plan is hopefully Call of Duty continues to you know, pick me up for these events. I've been having such a great time. Um, I've only worked in the Call of Duty scene since, I guess, November or whenever, whenever CWL Dallas was. I think it was either November or December. Um, and I absolutely had a blast. I'm so, so happy that I've, you know, been with them for several months now. And I'm hoping that what happens when, uh, the next game comes out when Black Ops 4 comes out that they go ahead and pick me up for the next season as well because this is just such a great scene to work in so I definitely plan on staying in esports for as long as possible and specifically I hope to stay with Call of Duty as long as possible. Okay I'm going to ask you a really biased question now okay? okay if you could choose to present any game favorite game either from childhood or now what game would it be? Overwatch. Overwatch 100%? 
Yes. Um, I, there are a lot of games I like. Like, one of my favorite games is Sid Meier's Civilization, but I don't expect to be going to any, you know, Civ 6 tournaments and doing the interviews there. I don't think that's really something you can make into a competitive esport that people want. We're, we're not quite there yet. Yeah, I understand. But just, I was talking about just complete biases, you know. Uh, fantastic. Th thank you very much for talking to us. It's been great. Uh, if you want to find more information on Jess and what she's been up to, uh, be sure to check out Caffeine Gaming. Thanks for talking to us.